Hey guys, how's it going? So today, my mom and I are heading over to Boise to do some antiquing, some shopping, um, but we're also heading over for a doctor's checkup for my mom. If you guys watched our recent video where we decorated my parents' front porch, I mentioned that my mom had back surgery about six weeks ago. So she has a doctor's appointment over there anyway. We thought, well, we won't, we won't push it. So, you know, we'll make sure that she has a lot of resting time in between shops and things like that. So we may not hit as many places as we normally do, but we thought it would be fun to go over and look at a few things. So that is the plan for the day. We're gonna go get coffee, um, probably have lunch out. It's just gonna be a nice day. And it's like pretty chilly and overcast and it was raining this morning when I woke up. So it's kind of a beautiful day to do that sort of thing. She actually just pulled up as I stepped outside. Good morning. <laughs> you ready? I am. You got your cooler with your ice packs? And my pillow. Perfect. <laughs> oh, good reading material. What did you bring? I, I got this because I'm gonna pick out some things and. And for uh, to invite me over for dinner <laughs> yes i'm gonna try to make a menu plan <laughs> oh perfect <Yeah. laughs> all right we've got our coffees mom's making her meal plan over there yeah there's some good looking stuff in there really good yeah and i actually i'm just gonna sit here and enjoy myself and my coffee and i'm gonna make a meal plan does anything just... look like you want to come over for uh-huh all of it <laughs> You could just make your meal plan in temps too. Give me your shopping list. I will. I will. And we'll make Aaron eat whatever. Ooh, comforting mushroom <laughs> pasta with brown butter sauce. That yeah. looks yum. Yeah. So I think there's a couple of things that mom's looking for today. And then I am looking, actually, I think we're looking for the same thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah. our flower shed, cut flower shed is going to be, the construction starts on Monday, the framing. The concrete pad has already been poured. So I'd like to find a table like a, a narrow, maybe longer table to go in the middle, a work table. Um, and then a light fixture, probably a chandelier. And then mom, you're also looking for a chandelier. I am. Yeah. For my sweet potting shed that everyone's seen the inside, you know what it looks like. So it's going to be transformed. So we're both looking for a very similar <laughs> chandelier. Yeah. About the same size. About the same size. Yeah. You got your running shoes on? Oh, yeah. I'd also like to try to find maybe um, a really nice bookcase uh, for our great room. To rep I have a really, really old cheap one that I actually cut a big hole in the back of it <laughs> because I needed to do something. You need to run some cords through it. Well, but why did I why did I cut such a big hole? Well, because probably that's the only tool you have. I cut a huge hole like in the butter knife. <laughs> anyway, something. I have to have a picture up in a certain spot to block that hole. And I kind of like to find something that doesn't look as flimsy. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see what we find. We just have this truck, so that's all we, we're not, we're not hauling this will the trailer. Fit a, a mantle. Oh yeah. I need a mantle. She's also looking for a mantle. Yes. So. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. All right, so we have one hour before mom's appointment, which is not long enough to go to any of the antique stores we like to go to. So we're gonna head to TJ Maxx for a little bit, see what we can find. Maybe some holiday towels. Holiday towels? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to have holiday towels in your bathroom. Well, yes. Yes. Because it makes you happy. Yes, when it you does. Walk in there. It's a little things. One for you. Thank you. And one for me. Hotel Dumont. This would be super pretty in your Hartley. Didn't I just buy one that you said would be pretty in my yeah. Hartley? But this is smaller. This that is, is not smaller. trophy size. And I've got this one and it's really fun to have the flowers. It's a perfect size. You've got to have something this size for your... Is it outrageous? I don't know. I think it might be on the bottom. You're such an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's super pretty. It is pretty. I'll put it in my cart for now and we'll think about well, it. Well, you'll love it. Just think of that full of dahlias. Full of dahlias. <laughs> And I could come visit in my new pair of pants that I'm going to buy here. Yeah. Oh, I do like those pants. Those, those are cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're really... So you might all... need to go buy some new shoes Whoa. today. Oh! They're only $17. What? I need to... Look at regular $98. Dang. See? Hit the jackpot at the max. I could... I, those could be work pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they've got another pair in the same size. They've got elastic waist. I love it. Well, it's perfect for back <laughs> surgery patients. It is. <laughs> yep. You should have that, Mom. That. You need to have that. <laughs> you have the perfect chair for that. <laughs> That's super Actually, cute. on the little rocking chair you have up in the front, one of the kid ones, mm -hmm. that'd be really cute. Wouldn't that be so mm -hmm. sweet? Like, I never need another pillow. We always need new pillows. I know. This is like a child size. Mm -hmm. And I love little kid stuff. Yeah. It's got bling. It does. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. You should have it. Think about it. 
You know, if you have to wrinkle up your nose at all after you've smelled a candle, then it's not for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> These are kind of interesting. They're kind of dizzying. They kind of look dizzy, but yeah, this is pretty. Look at the plate. Well, that is pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. well, especially like this would be covered with yeah. your other plate. Isn't and that the, gorgeous? The black among the, yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's super pretty. Mm -hmm. hmm. I've been really going for this color of blue, which I've never been a blue mm -hmm. fan, but I like that tealy yeah. blue. It's that, pretty. That's so pretty. Look at this though, mom. Look at how cute these are. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that cute? Really really cute oh I like this one mm-hmm isn't oh, that pretty yeah if only you liked tea more I know I like anything that looks basket weave yes you do I mm -hmm. always have yeah I should get this for Monica's <laughs> she would love it it's a spoon oh she would love it because she's such a pasta girl. She is. These are egg taglion whatever with truffle. <gasps> oh. Yeah, she would love it. How funny. It's going to be her day. It is. Right about the time we started trying on clothes, I forgot to turn the camera back on. <laughs> so we, we ended up with a few things. I got a couple of really cute outfits for Samantha Grace. And you found some, some stuff. I did. I found a shirt. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> My mom is in her appointment now. I decided to stay outside though because it's gorgeous. It's 57 degrees and beautiful fall color. I thought we'd just take a little walk around and see what they have planted around the parking lot. So right away, directly in front of the building, there are a couple of ash trees. Two different varieties though. So this one's turning yellow, which I love yellow fall color. Love it. I think that this one is a little bit sick though. This looks like the one we have in our driveway and the sick side of our tree always seeds out like it, this part is right here, but not the whole tree is doing it. So I'm not sure. And I see some areas that look maybe like they have some dead branches. Still a beautiful tree. And then there's another ash tree right next to it. Beautiful fall color. This one reminds me of the one in our front yard. So look at that purple red with the yellow. It gives it almost like this iridescent glow gorgeous. There are a lot of honey locust trees around here and some of them are starting to turn. The wonderful thing about honey locusts is that they are so easy to take care of in terms of leaf cleanup. Their leaves are so small they usually just blow away. And a sweet gum. Now that one hasn't turned color yet but that will probably turn a nice, I'm guessing I'm seeing a tinge of red. Usually I thought sweet gums turned yellow. It's really pretty though. Great big sycamore tree right there, or London plane tree. I'll show you the bark on this one. And look at this, look at the bark on this tree. Like look at the roots. Look at how interesting that is. So this one provides wonderful winter interest as well, just with its huge structure. And then the beautiful branches, look at that. That is just, there's something majestic about trees this big. The only kind of bummer part about sycamores or London plane trees is that the leaves are usually like really big and it takes them a long time to fall. Like a lot of times they're still dropping leaves in the spring uh, and through the winter. So oftentimes it's a bigger mess to clean up. This area is actually what kind of struck me because if you look at it from backed up, you see yellow with the uh, honey locust. There's a beautiful blue spruce plum trees right here for the purple or the red. Uh, accent. There's a wall of arborvitas and then there's bright red burning bushes right below, which are a type of euonymus. Gosh, it looks like somebody was coordinated in their plant decisions over here. It's so pretty. Yeah, just check this out. Look how pretty all the colors are here. There's a type of Amour maple, like a flame maple or hot wings maple right here. You can see it's starting to turn its beautiful red color. And typically when these produce their little helicopters, you can see them in clusters up here. In the spring, they're really bright pink or red. So they provide a really beautiful spring show because they almost look like the tree is in bloom at that point. And then you see that big wall of arbs, looks awesome. And the burning bush. Look at those burning bushes. Aren't they gorgeous? My word, how come I do not have any of these planted yet? I mean, I know they're super kind of common, but look at what they add. Like why wouldn't we all have these in our garden? 
Looks to be another Amour Maple here with the blue spruce that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that icy blue and that gorgeous structure. That's got Christmas lights written all over it. And then another ash tree. There's like a row of ash trees right here. I actually told my mom, you know, based on how she felt and how much moving around she wanted to do today, I told her we could just go get something like a warm drink and go to a park that's got beautiful color and stay close to the car so you can rest if you want. And I told her, you guys probably wouldn't mind seeing a bunch of beautiful fall color. I, this is like a little bonus in this parking lot. Oh, just wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the car. I often wonder what people think when they see me walking around, just like kind of talking to myself, holding a camera up. I guess you see it more and more these days, but it still feels a little bit awkward. Well, appointment's all done. Yes, it is. And we're not really working on switching it up too much. We're gonna go to Etavola again, which is where we went is last that time. How you say it? Is that the proper? Etavola? Yeah. I think. <laughs> I don't think we want to mess around. We just want to order food, huh? Hungry. Yeah. yeah. Butternut squash enchiladas. That looks so good. That does. I think I might try that. Me too. Yeah. All right, guys. So they have this delicious looking salad. It's chicken, butternut squash. It's been roasted, arugula, and grapes with a vinaigrette. And we both have our drinks. The almonds, the important almonds. Is that for one of the recipes? Yes. Nice. Yes, it is. And then we have butternut squash uh, enchiladas mm -hmm. coming. Yep. Yum. Oh my goodness. Butternut squash enchiladas. I have never heard of such a thing. Either. And this salad is delicious, you guys. So slivered almonds in there as well. Mm -hmm. Super easy to make with just a light vinaigrette. What a yummy lunch. Okay, now we're gonna spend a little time looking around because they've got the most wonderful things here, like duck, duck fat. Duck fat. <laughs> yeah. But black currant Dijon mustard, yum. Red pepper Thai bruschetta, Ooh, yum. That sounds good. That's really Vintage that. cream and gold planter, $12. Yeah, $12. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. Cider spices, cornbread mix, Brass petite bucket. That's cool. Oh, a gourd gravy boat. Oh my word. That looks like a genie. Like you could rub the lamp and have the genie come out. <laughs> Everyone should have a gourd gravy boat. Hey, I grew one of those. Is that real? Looks real. Yeah. Nice. It's real. Yeah. It's real. That's a candle. Woohoo. Holy that moly. That's a big one. Gosh dang, that's got five wicks in it. Do you know what this place is called? Uh, it's, uh, well, antiques. Yeah, <laughs> antiques. With a really pretty garden, you guys. Look yeah. at this. We should yeah. like poke around a little yeah. bit. And I love how they have everything tagged. Yes. That's a Pocahontas Penstemon. Right. Well, I don't know if everything's tagged. Well, we it looks have, we like have it this is. at our house. It's like a golden rod. Really pretty. Asters. That's a great for pollination, you know, pollinating. Yeah. Or Look pollinators, at this. I should say. Look at how pretty. I like GM. I do too. GMs are really pretty. Someone does a good job taking care of it. Looks like some uh, kind of scarecrow without a head <laughs> for Halloween. Yeah, I thought we were going to have a scarecrow contest. We were. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> These asters are st like stupendous. Yes, they are. How's that for an adverb? No, adjective. <laughs> I know my. I know my. Uh, Whatever. English. Look at the verbena. Oh, that is pretty. No, that's lantana, Mom. Oh, that is lantana! <laughs> <laughs> all all self-confidence. We know plants. <laughs> now that is an obelisk. This is the place I found my little bird topiaries, the boxwood ones. Ooh, oh, those are sold. Look at those iron urns tucked back in there. I want to say, are you sure that those are sold? Oh, look, they've got some other bird topiaries starting in here. This is a cute little shed. It is. That hydrangea is really pretty. It's gorgeous. Would they would they miss it if I went and snipped a few of those off? <laughs> they might. And the Friday 6 p.m. Pacific Time Sonata for 6 is all about who you could be the guest curator picking all three songs on that's an interesting light fixture right there. Hmm. Mom, I found a chandelier for your potting shed. <laughs> it is 
way tiny. I'm thinking more like this one. That one's really neat. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it casts That's a really lot of different. Light. What? That one's just different. It is. I like this. I do too. And it'd be that juxtaposition of yep. just like really rustic over the top. to over the top. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> like a little itty bitty thing. It's cute. It is cute. How much is this? I love these, the bookcases that have the glass doors. Oh, oh. how cute are those? I know. Ah. It's got a little drain hole and everything. Oh. You plant something really cute and yeah. tiny in there. Yeah. Wouldn't like a little uh, bit of moss to make like a moss ball? Yeah. That'd be cute. It would be. Oh, it's just so nice outside. It is. Look at, look at that lamp. Oh, oh my. That is, that is a lamp and I've a half. I've never seen a lamp like that. That is a rectangular shade right there. <laughs> look Dang. at those gems. Those hanging. are some big gems. Yeah. Look at that birdcage, Mom. Oh. <gasps> mm. Whoa, that looks like the Taj Mahal. Mm-hmm. Looks Dang. like our brown one at work, only a bigger version of that. How about the plastic Santa? I'd go with the $550. Why? Of this. Why? Oh, is? Why is that $550? Is that right? Should it say $55? <laughs> Am I missing something? It's just a plastic Santa, I'm right? I'm probably missing something. I think it's because it's vintage. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is kind of a neat mirror. Did you see this cast iron mirror? Oh, it's so pretty. It's a little shabby. Yeah. We're not as into shabby I know. chic. I, it, I appreciate it, and I my eye is oftentimes drawn to I it. I know. It's the, sweat, it's the design yeah, of it. If it was brown iron, right. I'd be all over it. Right. Or black. Ooh. <laughs> oh. My. Do you need to have a tooth that you need to hold? <laughs> Those are ice, um, ice, ice picks. grabber, grabbers, tongs, tongs is what it says. <laughs> yes. And, and for a deep molar. Yeah. <laughs> There's plant stand number one. Okay. Oh, perfect. And then we don't have to worry about hurting anything. Okay. Look at that. That's kind of like flower shed vibes, you guys. Um, where it's just going to be like a rectangle and I want a table in the center and I'm going to have a couple of hutches. This is a little bit on the rustic side, but it gives you kind of the yep. idea, I guess. There's five of these, but aren't they pretty? Yeah, they are. You probably should have to have them. You're already <laughs> having to check out anyway. Well, mom found a lot of stuff. I haven't found anything that really like screamed at me. Not yet. Anyway, we are going to head up to the antique world wall next. All right, so we have arrived now at the Antique World Mall. I have a good feeling today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna find some goodies. We're gonna, yes. <laughs> this coat is still here, Laura, and it's so cute. It is cute. So, so cute, because it could be girl or a boy. You mm -hmm. don't need that, but that's so cute. It's cute. It's a little, it's a little woolly. Yeah. Oh, there's the Mona Lisa. That's there. probably the real one. I uh, yeah, I was shocked when I actually saw the Mona Lisa and saw how tiny it was. Really? Uh huh. How big? It's like this big. Serious? And there's a bunch of people in front, and you wait, you know, your turn. Yeah. To get to see it, and then you get on up there, and you're like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> a lot smaller. Yeah. Something about those vintage ceramic Christmas trees. Yeah, I like, I like them too. Here's a plant stand. I have yeah. two of these at home. Just like that? No, but they're, I mean, they're different color. They're brown and mm -hmm. they have different color marble, but they're pretty. They are pretty mm -hmm. and they're super sturdy. Yeah, heavy. You can mm -hmm. put heavy things on yeah, top. Yeah, right. It's nice. Have to worry about anything falling. Look at that chandelier, Mom. That's a beauty. It's super pretty and sparkly. Yeah, that one's just been cleaned, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. It is. That looks, I don't know what mm -hmm. size I need from, like, would you put that size in your potting shed? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, 
You can go you, for it. No, I Yours think is you, ready, mine's not. I think you should get that. Because your potty shit's going to be bigger than mine. Yeah, I know, but I don't... I, I'm looking for other things, though, too. Yes. But I think you should get it. Laura, this is for when you do a coffee table book and you're sitting down and you've got to concentrate. <laughs> I've got to concentrate <laughs> with my typewriter. <laughs> oh, man. I like this coat. Oh, yeah, that's Look cute. Look how pretty this is. That looks like, like the Queen of England. Yes. I bet it's too small across the shoulders. Maybe not. It's the beauty of those coats. You don't have to close them. <laughs> They're not. Oh. <laughs> Feel like a straight jacket a bit? Oh. oh. Look at. Oh. It's a little short in the arms. Well, I think they're supposed to be. Oh, really? But it's. <laughs> <laughs> Look at though how pretty with the dress. Yeah, that is pretty. The whole thing is pretty. I would totally wear this. Mm hmm. You could let it out a bit. What? You could let it out a bit in the shoulders. Oh, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you think I said? I thought you you said I could let it out a bit. <laughs> like, get some of the let out. <laughs> would I ever say such, such no. a thing to you? That's I was like, what? <laughs> I would never say that anything like that to anybody. <laughs> you could get some of your let out. <laughs> You could let it out. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. why I was looking shocked. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> that would be the rudest thing ever. Like These are cigar, cigar bubble gum. You think those are still soft? Oh, it, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. President Bush. My word. Oh, oh, Mom. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's the real deal that's right the there. Real deal. Dad would love it. Oh, it's hotter than a fox. Yeah, they get hot. I think they're a fire hazard. They are an absolute fire yeah. hazard. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, look at this table, Mom. Whoa. Mm. Oh, it's a long skinny it table. It is, yeah. But talk about not being able to move it very easily. Oh, no, but wouldn't that be It's not awesome? for sale anyway. Easy decision. Oh, there we go. That NFS means that. But I kind of need, that's kind of maybe a yeah. little shorter than, well, yeah. maybe not. Because when you're doing wreaths and stuff, you yeah, need the you distance. Need I like that picture. You know what we should do, Laura? We should just come to your house and just do nothing but pictures. I know. Hang pictures. Yeah. It'll be fun. What about this hat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what does that stand for? It's the Empire New Britain. I put it on again because I just need to get an idea. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you're not I do. trick me. No, you're not tricking me. Nope. <laughs> yes, you are too tricking me. I want to see what it looks like. You put it on a oh, no put the camera. And you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you'll like these cups though. These looks like look like something that you would like. Those are pretty. Yeah, those are really pretty. Oh, I do like that golf bag. If I had to have a golf bag, that's what I would have. Tartan plaid. Vintage. Yep. Yeah. Did you wear anything like that for reals? Yes. Does that bring back memories? Yeah. <laughs> that's a 60s. That is the biggest book on cats I've ever seen. Like Huge. literally biggest. Huge cat book. Yeah. This is another really big book right here. What is it? Oh my. So we used to have these when really? we were little kids. Yeah, like in the schools, the teachers would be in the front of the classroom and they would read a book to you. And then the whole class could see it and they could read the words. Well, that's, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Linda. Yeah. Bill and Linda. So you need me with you, Laura, to describe some of these antiques. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> well, it makes me feel wise. Yeah. <laughs> Get really close to having a coffee. Yeah, I think coffee yeah. is going to be in order. Maybe we should yeah. go do the village or something after this. I think, oh yes, a Mexican mocha. Yeah. We could get one. Oh, the little golden books. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, this one right here. This is the one we had. Mm -hmm.
three from my childhood. It's heavy. Yeah. And then you gotta let go of this ring and don't want to pop okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I thought you'd be all annoyed at me. <laughs> It wouldn't be an antiquing trip or a proper one if we didn't have the tinkling of a chandelier in the back of the car all the way home. <laughs> you love the noise. I do. All right, so we are at our last stop for antiques anyway. This is Enchanting Objects. We kind of went to all of our, this is a busy road. Yeah, my goodness. We went to all of our kind of familiar places today. And then I think after this, we're gonna go sit down somewhere and get something to eat, maybe a coffee or something. Or, or something. Ooh, that's neat. I mean, the upholstery is oh. not my thing. No, but at first I, I thought it was like stags from I afar. Know. The piece is neat. Wouldn't that be wonderful mm -hmm. in like tapestry or something? Yeah. Like that? Oh, look at these, Mom. Look at the oh. equestrian pictures. <gasps> Do those match the ones that you have? Very it, similar, yeah. They came at kind of a different time because they have all, a lot of oh. their Halloween stuff. The baseballs are painted like eyeballs. Oh, ah. there's an idea for you guys. There you go. Uh huh. I can smell all these. These, these smell good. Mm. Are they good ones? Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I smell that one. This one is lavender patchouli. That smells really good. Oh, Dad would like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, maybe I should get him some. He loves homemade soap. He does. Here's two two um, little tables. Oh yeah. Are you going to get those equestrian pictures? Vintage horse and rider bowl. Yeah. Um, maybe so. Be kind of fun, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Yeah. Add to your collection. Oh, this has kind of got a good feel in here. I like this. Look at this. Look oh, at yeah, this. that's cool. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? What do you put in the top one? I, well, like I, a flower oh arrangement. my gosh, that's heavy. You could put a little yeah, bowl, a bowl with a flower, with a flower arrangement. arrangement. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's super pretty. It is. This chaise <laughs> is neat. This is where we bought our chaise. Yeah. It's in Isn't the front that pretty? porch. That's Look at church. this gorgeous bowl. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's big. Isn't that pretty? It's like a wash basin. Yeah, the yeah. big picture in the middle. Well, it could be that we're just tired, but we struck out here. We didn't, there were a lot of neat things, but not like quite the right thing that we needed. Um, and we're trying to be good about not buying a bunch of extra stuff today, <laughs> like we tend to do. We decided instead of going to the village that we would come back down into Eagle and go to Rembrandt's Coffee House, which is in this old, is it actually an old church yes, building? It is. it is. Yes. Because it looks like it's been kind of refaced maybe a bit. It's really pretty. And they've got wonderful outdoor dining, really good food. I'm excited. Oh, look at the pots too. The pots still look really good. Yeah. So we're sitting outside. Look at that. It's a fountain slash fireplace. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, I already tucked into the salad a little bit. I forgot to show you. <laughs> it's so delicious. <laughs> and then here's mom's. Mm, it's yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Good flavors. Mm -hmm. All right, we are just getting situated back in the car. We got some white mochas for the drive home. <laughs> And yeah, it's just been a really great day. A really nice, relaxing day. Beautiful day. Yes, and wonderful food and really good drinks. And yes. even though we didn't find very much today, I'll line it all out so you guys can see um, what we did end up with. But um, it still was a really great day to come over here. So anyway, I will head home. It might be tomorrow because it's gonna be dark by the time I get home <laughs> before I show you what we got. Uh, but I will show you that next. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. I have everything on the counter except for the plant stands that my mom bought, which are still in the back of the truck. We're gonna go deliver those later on today down to the garden center because that's where they're going to live. Um, they're gonna be plant props down there. So let me run over the things I got today. All right, so let's start with this right here. This is the uh, champagne bucket my mom highly suggested that I buy. <laughs> She said she loves hers and loves to do great big arrangements. Um, also, I didn't realize she snuck this one into her cart and then snuck it into my stuff because she says that I need to have a champagne bucket collection, I guess, <laughs> which I'm not going to complain about. They're wonderful uh, to use as flower vases. I did pick up a few like kind of random things. Like I got some Christmas uh, tissue paper because it's really pretty and it was inexpensive and I always need it. 
especially in a couple months. I did pick up the cinnamon and clove candle. My mom picked one of these up as well. It's huge and it does smell pretty good. We're a little bit picky about uh, scents in the house. Uh, I did pick this up for my sister. This, these are egg noodles with truffle and they're just very cute and festive like a witch's broom, but it's actually a spoon, which is kind of clever. And I got Samantha Grace a few new outfits. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. So it is an 18 month size, but she, like I'll wash these once and she'll fit into them. Look at those cute pants and that vest, a little sweatshirt, a little set here. And then I couldn't resist this one because doesn't this look like it belongs on a baby that's in the movie Steel Magnolias? Like from that time frame, it looks so like vintage. I love it. And the chandelier which is very similar to the other chandeliers we've picked up. We're just like drawn to this gold, kind of that brushed gold and the candles that have the little gold detail right there. And I'm not sure, we're gonna try this in my shed and we'll try it in mom's shed and see which one it looks the best in. Um, my shed is a little bit bigger than hers, so it might be better in mine. She may need one a tiny bit smaller, but we're gonna try it out. We just loved how well it looked like it had been freshly cleaned. I mean, it's so beautiful also. One of the crystals dropped off and I cannot for the life of me find out where it came from. I have checked everywhere that there are crystals on this thing and every place has one. So I don't know, I've checked it over twice. <laughs> Maybe once we get it hung up, we'll find it, find the spot. So that's it guys. I mean, it wasn't a huge shopping day. I mean, we didn't find a whole bunch of stuff, but it was a beautiful day anyway. We took it a little bit slower. My mom kept up really well. And um, she got the green light from her doctor to keep on adding a little bit more weight every single week in terms of what she can lift. So that's always really, that's a good thing to hear that everything's healing up nicely and all of that. Um, and it was just a beautiful day. All the fall color over there was so gorgeous. In fact, we were commenting, like I was kind of getting distracted while I was driving <laughs> because I kept like wanting to look around at all the beautiful trees that are in color. So anyway, it's a great day all in all. Um, always love to get out and go do stuff like that. We were talking about, and I say this every time, next time I think we might in the next couple of weeks head over to the Idaho Botanical Garden and see what it looks like in the fall. I've never visited visited that garden in the fall. Um, and I think that would be really interesting. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.